fuck. <laughs> Found your a reptile place. Guy sells snakes on this on the main road. Really? Have you ever seen that? That's more than I want to know. Dude, it's crazy. He's you got all, and alligators in there. Big tur tortoise, snakes. Downtown here? I mean, yeah. you can be there in two minutes. And you'll Mike park. Dale, our technical director. Hey, hey Nate, pleasure to meet you. Nate, nice to meet you. And I say Bargazzi. Yeah. Yeah, that that's correct? Yep. Okay. That is correct. Yep. Good. I know the shop you're talking about right? with all the reptiles. Yeah, How much yeah. Was an it's crazy. Yep. How much was an alligator? I don't know. Uh, there was no pricing. There was no the big pricing. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. It used to be an old, it used to be a furniture store. Oh, really? It's the first floor of a furniture store. Just Mike used to be into snakes, or maybe he still is. Still I don't am. know. I don't want to yeah. know that either. Did that guy don't. just buy them? Did he just, I guess, have you ever been in there? Not yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to go in there. I definitely want to go in and check them out and see what they've got. He's got a lot of snakes. Maybe may, may get myself a new office pet. Yeah, just to have some. Like, oh, you no, have it around your neck? <laughs> yeah. Dude, they had a huge albino. Like, I mean, they had like a gigantic albino like python yeah. so. i uh i i owned a snake when i was like 12 we had a red tail boa and uh but then as i've gotten older i mean i'm not as like fun i'm not as grabbing them as much yeah i'm very, still very fascinated okay. i've always loved snakes and i've always like uh read a bunch of stuff about snakes or whatever but yeah i'm not touching them as much as i want my, my boy's into them he's 10 oh, yeah. we go out to uh the back mountain side they have at Knox and they have a rattlesnake roundup once a year on Father's Day wow. and they'll actually put the rattlesnakes in a tube and you can pet them and count yeah. the rattles off its tail and wow. yeah, about 15 miles from here yeah, yeah. Know where Knox is. oh I've heard of that then you'd really scare me yeah it's like <laughs> oh yeah we're there tomorrow night it's we're in Knox then yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah we're there yeah. we're doing there we're doing the show there tomorrow <laughs> fun day good I had no idea we stumbling on a reptile how did you, you oh, and we went to go to Starbucks and then we were I was like let's walk down this main road we were just walking back I'll and it said scroll. reptiles, and I was like, dude, this thing. I go, what is this? Uh -huh. it's, uh, yeah, I used to be real, like, uh, I mean, I was always a little, like, you know, you're not just grabbing them. I mean, we have, like, nieces and nephews. It might be like your boys. They are your kid. Like, they just grab them. Yep. I mean, they don't, they just yeah, go fish. No <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we, we lived in Texas uh, when I was, like, five. And my dad got a snake. We were going to, like, church. And like on the way there, my dad sees a snake in the road, gets out. My dad grabs the snake. I'm like five years old in the back seat, and he's gonna take it to church to show all the kids. Like what he's like, I don't know. Like I, I was five. It, it was big. It was probably like a black snake or something, like a rat snake or something. I don't know. But he grabs it, and then he's holding it like behind him. Like so, I'm like sitting behind him. He's holding it in front of my face, <laughs> and I'm like five or six. I mean, it's just like, like it's. I mean, it is. This snake is losing it. Yeah. And I mean, it's just right here in my face. My dad's like, it's fine. It's fine. And he wants to go show it to all the kids. <laughs> and then, so that was my first steak. That was your introduction to steak. It just, like, just one jammed in my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every reptile owner has been murdered by his wife. That's a fact. Yeah. That's just a fact. We're just stating facts here. <laughs> what about Alice Cooper, though? He, uh, he, he has snakes? Me. Yeah. Oh, really? He, we've had him here. Oh. His guy grabs it off stage. I'm standing on our loading dock. He goes, here, hold this. Oh. And he went back out to the stage. I'm like, cool, can I keep it? Yeah. Well, you're the only person that would be like fine with. Okay. Yeah, they picked the, the right stage. They the right person was behind yeah. me, curled up over two road cases and and head in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. What are the odds that they? That's. I mean, that's they unbelievable. Found me to, they and, saw your hat and they go, and "He's fine with state. it. He'll hold this. This is guy." That, oh. And when Jack was here, my kid asked him a basic question. He goes, "Is there a snake in the world that can go backwards?" And he stumped. Yeah. And Jack had to think for a bit, and then it finally figured it out. The Von Viper can go backwards when it strikes. Wow. And Jack was impressed how my son yeah. asked that kind of yeah. question. He said, I've never been asked that question before. Yeah, I've never even heard that question. Yeah. What a question.
And that's the only one that can go backwards. Yeah. The, only one, strike. the Von Viper. Yeah. He says it was the only one that can go backwards when it strikes on that. And yeah. I'm like, wow, it's in, in, you know, he's never been asked that question. Yeah. And to have a child ask him that question, yeah. it threw him. He yeah. wasn't, he's yeah. like, wow, this is impressive. Yeah. He almost just makes your son, he goes, get that kid out of here. We can't handle it. <laughs> Showing me up. Yeah. Show, yeah. He goes, can someone get him out of here right now? Oh, oh, you're the man? I'm the man. I'm fat, dumb, and happy. All right. I'm your runner. One, one quarter left. Wait, there's your change. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, no, come on. I, I'm shy. I'm an introvert. We're doing, yeah. We're doing a documentary on you. <laughs> Last time I was a runner, I had two guys in the backseat of the car. Yeah, get it. I'll take it. If you want to the gym. Yeah, shot my Came back, there were two security guards here. So, wow, I got to have somebody important. Yeah, it was the artist. Jake Owens in the back seat. I had no idea who the hell he was. Yeah. I was talking to him just like the way I'm talking to you. Yeah. It's just the way it is. Nobody knows who Jake Owens is. <laughs> <laughs> the daughter went nuts. Yeah. Like, all I would like from you, that's it, is yeah. a picture of you either in the front seat or by the car. Yeah. Because I bought the car just to do this. Yeah. I don't I want do, a picture yeah, with yeah. me. I want a picture of the I'll car to send to the guy across the, the street. To send to the oh and yeah. Then you drive up. You then <laughs> I stand like this and you just drive by <laughs> and then I wave. Good art tonight. I won't be hey, talking thanks, to you. Man. He won't be seeing me. All right. Yeah. Well, you know what happens. You, yeah, I'll be around here all day. Vader well, is directing us. He's like, you know what you should do. <laughs> he's like just telling us the shots we should shoot. Except no one can hear what he's saying. Yeah. You don't notice he's, he's like, talking uh, until you look down. Uh, this week we have Graham K. Hi, it's me, Graham K. Was Gary Veter in the seat last time? Because that's why I had to put it down. Gary Veter is very short, you see. He's a small man. He barely allowed to vote. Jesus, I wish Gary was back here. To be honest, <laughs> let Graham just get these jokes out of the way. He'll he'll bring some heat. He's doing. Gary's doing better than me in his career, so I gotta I gotta I gotta take what I can get. So this is uh, Steamtown Mall, which is in the office, where they go and a lot of really funny episodes. Uh, Michael Scott takes his, the group out. So this is this is Scranton, PA, Steamtown Mall. Yeah, they're they're closing all the schools. My daughter's out of school the rest of this week. Really? Yep. And I'm gonna go back in time, and I'm gonna fix this coronavirus thing. That's, did you get him touching her? Do not sit, no touching. Don't be that guy who ruins it for the rest. Here's that guy. Who touched it? Canadian. His last words were, you know if this thing's Canadian, Every Canadian is allowed to touch the DeLorean. They didn't know there'd be a Canadian coming by. This feels like a place that would sell money clips. You know, like a... Uh, for money clips? Yeah, this feels like a place where people need to have their cash ready on hand. <laughs> <laughs> people don't have credit cards. No. They have, they pay cash. And they ask for a discount and someone goes, this is like a real store, you can't do that. And he goes, come on, let's do a discount. And they go, all right, that's fine. What about fine. a trade? Yeah. A pair of boots? This is a good place like this. You could, you could buy this. Like, you know, this is clearly just to clean up for here. You're like, hey, if I want to buy that, they're like, yeah, we're selling. Like, luggage. I bet they sell Sears. Are we in the last Sears on Earth? What is this place? We're in like, we're like seeing Gallagher too. Like Sears is Gallagher, and we're actually seeing Gallagher's brother that just stole his act and does it. <laughs> kind of thing you pick up when you're trying to get your kids back. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, okay. I'll show Karen. That guy living in my own house. If you're at a place that sells this, you could never go, you know what? I'd like to see a Cobra in one minute. And that would happen. Scranton. Scranton, that, that can happen. It feels crazy you think that like 
Just this mall has a spinning cobra in it. Do you, you actually need a money clip? I just feel like I want to try one out. Let's see if I want to be a money clip guy. Oh, yeah. Maybe this could have money It could. It's a dollar store, though. If you're going to get a money clip, just go on Amazon and order one. I want it now. I see. Well, maybe a dollar store, but I feel like it's going to be crappy. If you're going to get one, you might as well get a decent one. Maybe I'll just, I maybe know. Maybe get one where that, that's more than one dollar. But what if I'm happy with just... I'll spend a dollar to see if I'm a money clip guy or not. I'll tell you what a money clip guy would, would do. He wouldn't buy a dollar store at money clip. He's That's a money true. clip guy. Right? Your seatbelt? Okay, this is how it goes. Is this bit working? No. No. We prefer. I'll put it away. The camera's going dead, so sorry. There's a, I read this thing, um, uh, this article about this guy, and he, um, he he bought a motel, and then he built on in the in the in the attic of the motel uh, a little walkway, and he put little bits of carpet in between the bolts so you couldn't hear him walking, and uh, and little uh, vents into each room, and he was like a re weird pervert, and he'd watch people. And see what they did alone in their room, and he did took very detailed documentation of it. And they're like, this guy was a pervert, but it actually is a scientific document of like what people do when they're actually alone, because it's really, really hard to document people when to really figure out what they're like when they're alone. And he's like, and and then one of the things they're like, an exorbitant amount of people pee in the sink when they first walk into a room. Like a lot of people just just piss in the sink. <laughs> it's like, be like, oh, Nate, you went to that place by yourself. You're like, I wasn't by myself, but. <laughs> Just another day on the road, huh? <laughs> the runner is definitely like, don't go out after dark. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'd like to yeah. jog. Yeah, do it now. Yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your race is against the sun. Sign my name. Nice to meet you. It was a great show. Yeah, we love you so much. We always listen to your stand up. Thanks for coming out. Is this y'all's first comedy show? or Yes. Oh, yeah. First for them, yeah. All right. It is. First time. Looking forward to it. I can never go again. <laughs> and after that performance, we are done. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Thank you guys for that's coming. Good.